for joining us on the news at 530. I'm Tyler Mannion and I'm Madeline Hunt an up close look at how first responders keep us safe. That was the goal of today's seventh annual law enforcement and first responder expo in Appling County. Our Haley Boland was there and tells us the day's event serves a dual purpose. We do want to note though that the visuals you're about to see, including any injured people, are all part of a training exercise or demonstration. Law enforcement agencies from across the state of Georgia are here in Baxley to demonstrate how the equipment works, like the SWAT gear from Georgia State Patrol. One of the first demos of the day was a fatal crash scenario. We're fixing to come up on our uh, uh, prom season. Uh, we always have issues with uh, drinking and driving that happen at this time of the year. Fire, EMS, police officers, and state troopers all responded as though this were a real-life situation with one fatality and one person needing to be flown to the hospital. Crowds watched as the bomb squad with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation performed detonations. Agencies involved say demos like these help them make connections with different departments across the state. And, and to have that relationship already built before there's a critical incident is incredibly important. That's how we're able to work so well together is by, by already knowing each other. Chief Melton with the Appling County Sheriff's Office says more than 60 agencies and more than 2,500 people were expected to take part. It started as an event just to uh, build a bridge with our young people in our community. So we just had our local first responders Police department, sheriff's department, fire departments, uh, EMS come out, and and it, it was a big hit right off the bat. The kids really love this stuff. The expo also served as a field trip for surrounding schools. It's always good to recruit early. Uh, we end up talking to a lot of kids here who have law enforcement careers in mind, even at a young age. It lets them see all the different opportunities there are. Showing career opportunities to the next generation of officers and first responders. In Baxley, Haley Boland, WTOC News.